Hello everybody and welcome to my first ever official unscripted video. I thought that since this is my first ever video that I will tell you guys a little bit about myself. Now, so basically yeah, I come from a country of culture. A country filled with lovely people that always say hi, goodbye, and don't understand the concept of pineapple and pizza. Thank God, man. Now, you might ask yourself, Nick, what is this amazing country? Well, it's called Slovenia. And it's shaped like this. And in this video, I'm going to share our culture with the world, specifically the swear words. I did some digging, and apparently this woman has, has already made a video of the sacred language known as Slovene. And, I, and although her video was good, I noticed that she forgot the most common form of expression in our land, swearing. When you see a country has so much culture and beauty, there's definitely gotta be people who are trying to steal it. I'm talking, of course, about the Slavs, like for example, Croats or even Russians. But no worries, my friends, and hop with me on this wonderful and educational journey. Without further ado, let's hop to our first ever word, which is Pichku ti materno. I'll say it again, but slower. Pichku ti materno. The literal translation of this word is the pussy from your mother. <laughs> say it again. The pussy from your mother. Uh, we use this word very, very often. A lot of times when we hear ourselves or when someone pisses us off. Like, for example, if I would have stubbed my toe, I would, yeah, I would have yelled, Ah, pichkuti materno. Same if a teacher gives you a bad grade because you forgot to add the source to your presentation, and apparently that's two grades lower. Fucking cunt, I'll remember him. But yeah, moving on to our second word. Now, this is one of my favorite, and it's called nakurac mi idesh. Nakurac mi idesh. Now, where I come from, people usually use this among friends when they are being annoying. Now, I don't know if this is used widely around Slovenia, because it's used in a slang known as Prikmurschina, which is my slang, apparently, but I'll still include it because it's one of my favorite words. It literally means, you are going on my dick. Say a mate of yours is being annoying, and instead of putting him in a triple threat, just scream at him, Nakurac mi idesh, and that should shut him up. The next word is especially amazing, because it's a light destroyer, and it's called, Jasem peder. Jasem peder. Come on. Say it with me. You won't learn the culture if you don't practice. Jasem peder. Did you say it? Yeah? Good. You fucking homo. You just admitted that you're gay. No, fuck off. I don't want you in this video anymore. <laughs> it's just a joke now. But yeah, uh, be this literally means I'm gay, as you probably figured out. But if you wanted to call someone else gay, you would say Tisi peder. Tisi peder. Tisi peder. We use, we use this quite often as a joke, and now, because it don't discriminate, TC lesbica means that you're, lesb you're a lesbian. Welcome, you're welcome, feminist. The next word is a classic. In, is a classic. In Slovenian language, wouldn't have been what it is today without it. The word, of course, is jebise. Jebise. Which I'm sure that some of you had guessed it already means fuck you. Almost every second sentence in this land includes jebise. And just like in English, it's such an amazing and flexible word. It's honestly unbelievable. You can combine it with so much. Like for example, jebešto, which means fuck that. Zjebosemte, I fucked you, as in I've beaten you in a game. Jebešto je brata, which means fuck your brother. Or jebeš tvoju mamo. Which means, fuck your mom. <laughs> fuck, just, just made recording, I just realized that a lot of Slovenes will think that this is, you actually want to fuck them, or like fuck the objects, uh, persons you want to talk to, but yeah. Moving on to the last person, to the last word of the day, which means, vtakni si nekam. Vtakni si nekam. Vtakni si nekam. This means stick it somewhere, usually intend it up your ass, and we normally use it when someone is bragging about something. Like for example, if your sister gets a new iPhone while well, you're still stuck on an Android and constantly rubs it in your face, you could say vtakni si Ga, in this case, is a pronoun for a male, because we refer to a phone as a he. Another example, because we don't discriminate, remember, is vtakni si jo nekam. In this case, the pronouns is for a female. All right. This, that's pre that pretty much includes my list of top five, top five swear words in Slovene. And yeah, um, this is my first ever video, so please don't roast me in the comments. But other than that, take care, stay healthy, and eat your vegetables. And peace.